this one took a good blow and it collapsed just like it's designed to do. I have a Toyota Highlander here. This one took a good blow right in this right front frame rail and it collapsed just like it's designed to do. So it's gonna get a new frame rail section. Now this is the only way they sell the frame rail, but they also, Toyota offers a sectioning procedure. There's a measurement for the cut joint. So I'll have to see exactly where it is, but it's right in here somewhere. Then it also gets this new cap on this side. And then this one also gets this new radiator support section. It goes just like that, because that's all destroyed right here, as well as the lower tie bar. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clamp this vehicle down to the bench. And I wanna pull out this whole damage, roughly, before I cut it apart. And then I will go ahead and dive into the section procedure on this frame piece right here. Now they have measurements where they want these clamps and you come off the center of the rear wheel here and this first one is at 640, actually it's 620, 620 millimeters. Then the front one is at 2055 millimeters. Now I'm going to thread this in here, and I'm going to use that to pull off of. So that came off, it's about as far as that's going to pull out. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start cutting this one apart, I'm going to cut this apron out, get this apron out of my way, and then I will get the procedures for the sectioning of the frame rail, and I will make my measurements. I can't remember exactly, it's right in here where they want to cut, I can't remember if it's right on this laser seam or not. So going by the procedures here, they want this 17 millimeters back from the edge right here, which is right where that laser seam is. And that laser seam is where two different thicknesses and or strengths of metals are connected. So that's probably why they want it sectioned right there at that seam. So that makes it easy. I'm gonna go ahead and make my cut, then cut this plate off on this side and get this off and start making my new one. Because I shouldn't say making my new one, but cutting my new one and then fitting it up.
So it turns out, we thought this lower tie bar, we thought we needed this. Turns out we don't, and the reason why, this is where it connects to the frame rail, and we thought this piece came on the lower tie bar, but it turns out it actually came on the frame rail. So we're actually going to return this lower tie bar, because this one's not hurt, it was just that corner piece. And I'm going to go ahead and make my final cut, cut my new frame rail, and start fitting this one all together. This is looking good so far. I could hold the reinforcement bar up, it lines up perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and get our measuring system out and I'm gonna match it to the vehicle and then I'll be able to come up here and measure these points to make sure this is sitting exactly where we want it. Once I know this is good, I'll go ahead and get this piece welded on, then I'll start fitting up the radiator support piece. So the vehicle is all matched to the measuring system now. I'm gonna check this side first, just to make sure it didn't move. And now I could come over here and see how this part's sitting. I think I got this measuring out perfectly now. All within two millimeters. So it looks like all of my points are measuring out within two or three millimeters. So this is sitting exactly where we want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt the bumper bar on there just to kind of lock everything in together tighter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and weld this all the way around. Then after that's welded, I will put the side plate on, then I will get into the radiator support baffle piece.
so now I'm gonna go ahead and do some comparison measurements and right here I'm checking the length from a hole back there to this front point then I'm gonna take it to this side and compare it and it's pretty damn close right there now I'm gonna go ahead and do an X from corner to corner And that looks just about perfect as well. So I know it's looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna fit up the new fender and fit up the headlight. Make sure these brackets are, this bracket's sitting exactly where it's supposed to and make sure everything in this corner, everything is fitting correctly, but it should be very close. So then after that, it'll be ready to go ahead and weld this apron in. This one's fitting up very nicely. Everything in this corner is looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the headlight and fender back out and I'm gonna get all this apron welded in. Our paint team came over a few minutes ago. They went ahead and sprayed all of this. Now what I have here is 3M cavity wax. And this actually sprays in a 360 degree pattern. And I can fish it inside of here. And this will coat all of the bare metal. And it'll go down in between the seams to keep this thing from rusting out. You just want to make sure you use plenty of this stuff anywhere necessary. And then I'm going to go ahead and give this one to our build team and they're going to go ahead and put it all together. They already painted the bumper and get this one wrapped up so it could go home.